All right, we're here installing the right way weight scale system on my trailer. It's going to go right there. I started drilling it yesterday and the battery went dead in a drill. Then had a hard time running the the line, the airline through there because you know I'm old and I just don't flex. Yeah, there's no air in this trailer at all. Yeah, it's almost done. Yeah. Just don't don't nick that airline. And that's it. I've seen people put it from behind. Yeah, put the nuts inside. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. If you're going to steal it, it doesn't matter. You know? But I don't care what you do. right out as soon as you go to put that in there. Why, why right now? Yeah. Guess I should have brought a ratchet wrench for that too. Or a little impact. Would have been two seconds. This is the oil change all over again. Real quick. Just pop it on. Change your oil real quick. All right, I installed it on the rail for the tandems. So it'll slide, you know, you don't have to run all the airline all through this. So it'll slide back and forth. So that'll go back and forth with the tandems. The only issue is if I pull it up a couple more, three more holes, I'm gonna have to squeeze in and pull the lever, but there would have to be a lot of weight on the nose of the trailer to go much farther than that. But it'll be fine. The other option was have it all the way out here. And there really isn't anything to mount it to right here. On the outside rail. That or that one? This one. That's what I thought, the big one, okay. So I take that fitting off first. Right, and then spin the... Pull this out, and spin that thing out, spin the new one in, put that on top, so bing bang, boom. Flip flop.
Or are you saying me in particular? So it happens to you and not just not me? Is that what you're saying? Oh, you remember the plastic hose you needed? That one? Didn't work anyway. They say uh, counter hold that bottom one when you tighten it. Yeah, that one. Come on, really? I hear something leaking back there. I mean, if it was right here, it'd be easier. But what's the difference of just going like this? You know? Okay. I pulled it out. I don't know if it's yeah, open it. or closed, but it's pulled out for you. That's closed. When you push it in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, technically, it should read zero, right? Yeah. No, or right now? Yeah, because there's no weight on it. Uh, it should probably be 10,000 or so. Yeah, because it'll tell you how much weight's on the axle. With it should tell you what the empty weight is. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 10,000. It was 
it's what it's about what it is empty? Yeah, about. Yeah, 10, 11,000. Yeah, because I could put 40, over 40,000. I could scale 50,000 with the truck and trailer. It just won't, that tra truck just won't pull 50,000. Well, it'll pull it, but not very well. Not up any kind of hill. All right, so it works. So you pull it. Gives us a reading. So obviously we've still got to calibrate it. Locks nice. Max is going to check for leaks right now. Spray it with a little uh, soapy water. And he's looking close. Does that mean it's leaking? You think where you got those line zip tied is okay? Yeah, I zip tied it to the other line, so. I guess that part, that all of that upper part doesn't move anyway. Right. Yeah. No leaks. Turn it off first. Right, right way scale system complete. 